Hello everybody, uh, you read the video title, we have the first qualified team for the next round in Jordan, um, who already have beaten Australia, kind of surprisingly, and now they also beat on Syria, uh, which basically puts them in a really, really, really good position of, um, you know, even securing first spot. I just want to see now um, the other team that's in there. Just yeah, Palestine is in there as well, which is uh, definitely not uh, the easy, uh, you know, walk over opponent. We have seen that Palestine has uh, got a draw against Syria, 0 0, and we know that um, they're one of the fastest improving squads in Asia. So, yeah, uh, won't be a walk over, but. Uh, Presumably the two toughest opponents were already beaten and the point will uh, easily secure first place for Jordan. So putting them in a good position. The game was kind of billed as a big showdown between, you know, of two very even teams. Um, yeah, Jordan took care of it in the first half already, getting a lead in the 27th by Tamari. And then a um, wonderful free kick come, come, come. I mean, the, uh, the free kick was out at the corner, corner, corner flag, and it came in and hit a right the head of defender. Very well studied um, uh, standard situation. So uh, this was Tarak Katab who got the second goal and sends uh, Jordan to the next round. Um, not wearing yellow jersey because of Australia tomorrow. I'm gonna be interested to see what Australia will do. Can they bounce back or will it happen? Australia uh, kind of gets also a holder's curse. As we see have at the World Cup that they don't manage out of a group. The group actually, uh, you would think that Australia is by far the strongest team in there, but uh, Jordan, Syria, Palestine, those are relatively evenly matched. I mean, they were all at the last Asian Cup as well and um, acquitted themselves mm, quite well. So it will be interesting to see what Australia will do tomorrow. But uh, so that is Group B. We have Jordan through. Syria still uh, has some chances, but you know, now they have to against Australia and that might be a do or die game. We'll see how that will uh, pan out. Group A on the other hand um, had also two interesting results. The first between Bahrain and Thailand where Bahrain had for the most part of the first half and then also early in the second half kind of a little bit more the control over the game. Um, remember Bahrain actually got a draw against the hosts so they could actually get something going if they would win. Thailand was kind of that was a last ditch effort for them because they already lost to India so they needed to get something going and they did a uh, counter, wonderful counter-attack move uh, very um, emphatic strike um, Thailand took the lead by, and now we there is Chan Chanatip Son Krasin. I personally have never heard, but the goal was really nicely taken. And then actually, Thailand had more, and there was another uh, a really beautiful pass uh, played to an attacker who just uh, hits the near post. That would have deserved a goal, and I think from that moment on, Thailand was the better team. I probably would have deserved um, to get a higher um, scoreline. I honestly didn't see many chances of Bahrain in the highlights, um, but I assume, yes, this was one of those where you have a lot of possession, uh, you try something going, and you hit on the counter-attack, and I think Thailand uh, more or less proved that they are a very good counter-attacking team, and that was maybe a problem that they had against India, that uh, making the games... Not, not in the favor. I'm speculating here. Uh, full disclosure, I don't know too much about Thailand. So Thailand gets the win, which puts them temporarily, weirdly enough, on top of uh, Group A. Although, I cannot really imagine that. They had three points in India, three points in India, the far superior gold. Right? So in, India would still have been first. 
Speaking of India, they had a nominal home game in the United Arab Emirates, go figure, uh, and they played in the wonderful uh, blue jersey with the orange flames. Though this jersey looks really nice, I gotta say. Um, is it up there with the greatest jerseys that I posted of the last year? Maybe not quite, but it's probably my favorite at the Asian Cup. Uh, the Emirates with their uh, white version of the Germany, the current Germany away kit. Again, from a distance, it looks like a standard Adidas, uh, Adidas kit, and I don't like that look too much. I generally have to say that most of the teams from the Arab world have pretty much the sameish look, like plain red, plain white. There is not much more to them. I mean, uh, fortunately, yes, the Oman with a little bit of green in there. You saw Saudi saw Arabia with a green kit. But other than that, there is really not much variety. Um, at which which is really a shame because I think there could be a more a more down there, and uh, you know just look at some of the Turkey kits that have been released over the past te decade where they use uh, local patterns, even Algeria kits. Um, I think the Arab world would deserve better kits. I am absolutely adamant about it. Well, speaking of the Arabs, um, that game was at least from the highlights, all India. Yes, possession was with the Emirates. Um, I think there was 72 to 28% at one point, a uh, really ridiculous amount, but India had chance of a chance of a chance and couldn't get it in. Um, really clear shots on a uh, goal. They either it was saved by the keeper or, or they couldn't get it in. They hit the crossbar. Uh, I think when they were already one nil down to the Emirates, yeah. Who's going to for 41st by Kala Mubarak? Uh, and the Emirates had to hang on. Yes, they hit also the post uh, themselves, but they really needed to hang on in there. Uh, I think the one Indian player known is Sonil Chetri, who is kind of the Indian Messi. They had an amazing game and they lost 2 0. I honestly hope that this will not dampen their spirits because they would have deserved at least a draw in that game and then they would have a tight grip on this group as it stands the uae has four points and thailand and india both have three uh india now of course has to play against bahrain where oddly enough ahead of the tournament i would not have favored them at the moment i would favor them over bahrain india is playing great uh from the little highlights that i see they are really the attacks that they have are all deadly. Well, they were not today, but it's always high danger. Uh, and I, honestly, I want to say if I have to pick an underdog, I want to pick India because they actually, they, ha they have quite some skill. And, and it's interesting to see. I would like to see India at one point at the World Cup, so that would be nice. Well, that's it for my Asian Cup update. Uh, probably tomorrow I have to watch a little bit I'm not sure if I won. I uh, will, but a little bit Copa del Rey because I see there's one interesting result bound to happen and that I will post then after you watch this video. Um, and yeah, let me know what you thought about today's Asian Cup games. If you saw them, tell me if I'm uh, spot on or completely off. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.